pop a pill when I feel like a raw bar. Like I tell, we don't chill when it's more raw. Strap on my steel, nigga, seal from the war halls. Beneficial bill, got the skill of a war hall. What's going on YouTube? All Things Philly 93 come back with another video and today we're going to be doing my top 10 pickups from 2014 so let's go ahead and jump into number 10. Alright at number 10 on the list we have the New Balance 1600 Barbershop Pack. These are really really dope. The all uh, burgundy slash maroon suede all over the shoe is incredible and you have a leather inner liner and a uh, leather tongue tab there. I mean these are just, you got the gum outsole. These are just Really, really sick. As soon as I picked these up, I knew that these were going to be one of my favorites of 2014. All right, coming in at number nine on the list is the Nike KD7 EXT Suede. These are really dope. These are one of the more recent releases that's on my top 10 countdown. They're such a clean shoe, and you got that nice gum outsole and a really nice leather inner liner. And it's just a really nice shoe, very wearable. You can really rock these all year long with any outfit. So that's why I had to put these on my list. All right, at number eight on the top 10 list is the Jordan 11 Pantone. These just dropped about a week or so ago. About a week ago, a week ago. And the gift of flight pack with the Jordan 29s. And these are really, really nice. The quality on this material, I'm not even sure what it is. I guess it's some kind of leather uh, on this upper and the tongue is really, really dope. You got that university blue looking patent leather is dope. The outsole is really, really sick. So and I really love the inner lining on these as well. So I definitely had to find a place for these on the top 10 countdown. All right, next up at number seven on the list is the Reebok Question Times Packer Shoes St. Anthony's High School Player Edition. These are really, really dope. Another one of my more recent pickups. Uh, you got that all gold leather upper with uh, hits of like burgundy suede on the toe and you got like that nice inner liner. These are just really, really sick and Reebok Question is one of my favorite shoes of all time. So you got a really dope colorway on one of my favorite shoes. These definitely had to be on the list. All right, next up at number six is the LeBron 11 BHM. This was definitely my favorite LeBron 11 colorway and I was really a big fan of the LeBron 11 as a whole. So I definitely had to put these on the top 10 list. There's so many great details and so many really nice parts of this shoe from the translucent purple outsole and the gold swoosh and the laces with the gold lace tips and the wild purple inner liner. I'm usually not even really a fan of purple on sneakers, but on this shoe it just really works and these were definitely one of my favorite releases of 2014. Alright, next up at number 5 is the Jordan Retro 1 Father's Day Edition. These are really, really nice. The quality on these is fantastic. You got the denim with the really nice tumbled leather. These are really, really comfortable on feet, and I think that's mostly because of the really nice materials that Jordan Brand used on these. And I just really like the whole overall clean look of just like navy blue, white, and you got a little bit of university blue on the outsole there. So these are really, really dope. Love the Jordan 1, love the colorway, love the quality. So these were definitely one of my favorites of 2014. All right, next on the list at number four was my favorite Jordan Retro release of the year, and that would be Jordan 6 Infrared and Black. These are really, really dope. I've been waiting forever for these things to retro. I feel like they did a really good job with the retro. I mean, the quality could be a little bit better, but the 3M is really nice. These are definitely dope. These are definitely one of my favorite all-time Jordan retros, so I was really happy that they brought them back this year. And these were my favorite Jordan release of 2014. Next on the list at number three is the Reebok Question Banner. These are super dope. These are one of my favorites for a number of reasons. So you guys know the Reebok Question is one of my favorite shoes of all time. Iverson was one of my favorite players of all time growing up watching him play. They released these in honor of him getting his number retired in Philadelphia and the, just the whole theme and the colorway and the silhouette and just everything came together perfectly and it was definitely a shoe that was right up my alley so these Reebok question banners came in at number three on my top ten list. Alright next up at number two on the list is my favorite Nike basketball release of 2014 and that's the Kobe 9 Philippines. These are insane. The, the details are off the charts. Uh, they did a really good job executing this colorway. You got the silver swooshes and the translucent outsole with the, the sandal coming through there. As soon as I saw pictures of these, uh, I knew that I had to have them. And once I got them in hand, I was even more impressed. I just absolutely love these things. These are a perfect summer shoe, and I really can't wait to rock these. Overall, just a fantastic job by Nike putting this shoe together, and that's why they came in at number two on my top ten list. All right, now my favorite release of 2014 is the Saucony Shadow 6000 collaboration they did with Premier. These are nicknamed the Life on Mars, and these are just unbelievable. The quality is off the charts, the comfort is unbelievable, the colorway is really, really dope, and the whole concept behind the shoe and all the little extra goodies that they came with with the passport to Mars and the little ticket and the space bag. Premier and Saucony just knocked this thing out of the park, and I pretty much knew as soon as I started making this list that these were going to be number one, and it wasn't really close either. Definitely my favorite shoe of the year when you put together the whole concept, the quality, the comfort, the looks, the colorway, I mean, everything is just 
perfect and these are definitely my favorite shoe of 2014. Alright guys, that's going to do it for my top 10 sneakers of 2014. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a pretty wide variety of sneakers on my list. And make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Philly's Got Soul. And be on the lookout for more videos to come. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.